Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. First hour prayer, bam! Come on in, come on in. If you are on Facebook, you can um, share, tag somebody, let them know that we're on this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTubers. Let somebody know. You guys can share your links. Good morning. Hit your likes, hit your hearts. If you're on Facebook, smiley faces, shout mouths. Um, good morning, good morning. Just say good morning to each other. Say good morning to each other. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning. Come on in. Good morning, Chantel. Good morning. Y'all come on in. Good morning, Dasha. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will, we shall rejoice in it. We will be glad in it. Hallelujah. Good morning, Reba. Good morning, Lolita. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. I can see some people, some people I can't see. So if I'm not saying your name, please forgive me. But good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Melanie. Um, good morning, Arthea. Good morning, Donald. Good morning, Rinda. Good morning. Good morning, Lolita. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started. Good morning, um, Deaconess Hobson. Good morning. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Sharika. Good morning. Good morning, Courtney. Um, if you're on Facebook, like I said, hit your likes, hit your hearts, smiley faces, share, tag, let somebody know that we're on. If you're on YouTube, good morning. Just say good morning to each other. Um, you can share the link. You can do that off of um, YouTube. <clears throat> and um. If you need the prayer tools, if this is your first time, welcome. I just want to say that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Usually Pastor Jackson is here. He is your host, but today I'm your host. And um, we do prayer. He has he gives our prayer tools. And what it is is bless oil and 88 scriptures that will help you read the word and pray. So it is scriptures that will help you read and pray through the word of God. And that is what we're doing. We're teaching people how to read and pray through the word. So good morning, everybody. If you would like those prayer tools, all you have to do is go to www.jameswjacksonministries.com, fill out your request, and your um, prayer tools will be sent out to you. If the people who are on here that's been on here, if you need uh, if you need some more bless oil, do the same. Go on there, put your request in, and it will be sent to you. Good morning, everybody. I love you guys. I love you guys. I promise you, I love you. I thank you guys for tuning in. Psalms one hundred and two says, "Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise." And that's exactly what we're doing. And today. Virtual anointing is restore my hope. Restore my hope. Somebody on there put restore my hope. Hallelujah. <clears throat> With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O oh Lord, with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O oh Lord, I will bless thee. Oh Lord, I will bless thee, oh Lord, with my hands lifted up. I will bless thee, oh Lord, I will bless thee, oh Lord, I will bless thee, oh Lord, with the heart of Thanksgiving, I will bless thee, 
Oh, Lord. Oh, God. We will bless you on this morning with our hands lifted up. With our hearts filled with praise, oh God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for everything that you're about to do, oh God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, oh God, that you keep us in all of you. Everything that you do is overwhelming, oh God. And we thank you. We thank you that you love us so much, that you keep us in all of you. We thank you, oh God, that you are Abba, Abba Father. We thank you that you are so awesome. You are so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome are you, oh God. And God, we just bless your name on this morning. We thank you, oh God, that you keep on blessing us, that you think about us and you bless us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are the bread of life, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you breathe in us. We thank you that you breathe in us on this morning to wake us up, oh God. And for that, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you that you are close to us and that you keep us close to you, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, that we can depend on you, that you deliver us, oh God. You deliver us from everything that's not like you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We can depend on you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your you're everlasting. You're the everlasting father. You are the everlasting father. We thank you, oh God, that you never fail. You never fail. Oh God, we serve a God that never fails. We thank you, oh God, that you are great, that you are good. Oh my God. Thank you, oh God, that you are our hope. We thank you, oh God, that you are our healer. Oh God, somebody needs you right now. Father God, they're sick in their body. They're sick in their minds. They're sick in their finances, oh God. Help them, oh God. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Only you can do that, oh God. Oh God, thank you for hiding us under your wings, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that you're in us. We thank you that you live in us. We thank you that you move in us, oh God. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you on this morning. We thank you for being a just God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that you are the all-knowing God. You know everything about us, oh God. You know our flaws. You know our weaknesses. You know our strengths, oh God. And God, we thank you for knowing who we are. We thank you that you know us by our names. Hallelujah. You know us by our names. You know every hair that is on our bodies, oh God. We thank you that you know us. You know us by even our fingerprints, oh God, because every one of us have different fingerprints and you know each and every one of us, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for being kind to us on this morning. Oh God, we love you so much. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that you love us. We thank you that we serve a loving God a loving God. We thank you, God, that you give us life, that you give us life. We cannot live this life without you, oh God. And for that, we want to say thank you. We thank you, God, that you are more than enough. There is no, we can't even say so many thank yous, oh God. We thank you, God, that you're more than enough. Oh God, you know every need, Oh, God, and we thank you for supplying all of our needs, oh, God. We thank you, oh, God, that we serve a powerful God. You have all powers in your hands, oh, God, and we thank you, oh, God. We thank you for restoration in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you restore us. Restore us this morning, oh, God. Restore our peace. Restore our joy, oh, God. Restore our strength, oh, God. Restore our hope on this morning, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are our restorer. Thank you, God, that you restore us on this morning. Thank you, oh God, for being our redeemer. Oh yes, you are. You redeem, you are our redeemer, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for being our sustainer. 
You sustain us. You keep us, oh God. Thank you for being our sustainer. Thank you for being strong and mighty, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that we can run to you and we are safe. We are safe in your arms, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that your word is true. We thank you that we serve a true and living God. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that you have all victory in your hands. And so because we believe you, because we honor you, because we trust you, oh God, because we worship you, oh God, because we obey you, oh God, therefore we will have victory, victory in our lives, victory in our situations, oh God. Thank you for victory. Victory shall be ours on today. Victory, oh God victory, victory, victory. Oh God, we thank you that you are our hope. Oh God, restore hope into somebody on this morning. Oh God, oh God, you know where they are. Oh God, restore their hope. Oh God, let them know that you are God and God by yourself. Oh God, you don't need no help. You don't even need our help, oh God. God, but you help us. Help us, oh God. Help us to restore, to help us, help our hope, oh God. In the name of Jesus, help us to have hope in you. And in only you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we love you on this morning and we thank you and we give you the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hope is restored on this morning. Hope is restored. I'm telling you, listen, virtual anointing was restore my hope. It's restored. It's restored. Your hope is restored. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're facing. Your hope is restored. Just stand on God's promises. I'm going to come out of um, Psalms 119. And I said this earlier at the 630. Psalms um, 119 is a long chapter, a long songs. And I, if you've never read it, I need you to go read it because it has so many nuggets in there that will help you to re help to help you when you want to um, your you, when you don't have any hope when you're um, when you feel down. Oh, my God. So go in there. Go in there and read it for yourself. Don't read it because I'm, you know, for what I'm telling you, read it for yourself so you will know so that you will get the understanding. So I'm going to go from um, verse 38, okay? It says, reassure me of your promise. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Verse 39 says, help me abandon my shameful ways for your regulations are good. Verse 41 says, Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. 43 says, do not snatch your word of truth from me because guess what? His word is true. So don't snatch your word of truth from me <laughs> for your regulations are my only hope. Your command is my only hope. Your word is my only hope. Verse 44 says, I will keep on obeying your instructions forever. Verse 45, I will walk in freedom. Somebody put on there. I'm walking in freedom. I'm walking in freedom. I will walk in freedom. Why? For I have devoted myself in your commands. I have devoted myself in your commandments. Father God, we thank you. We thank you that you reassure us of your promises that you made for those that fear you, oh God. And we this morning fear you. We fear you because you are God. We fear you, oh God. Not to say that we don't believe you, but we fear you, oh God. We fear you because we know that you're able to do it. We know, oh God, and God restore, reassure us, oh God, of your promises, Father God. Oh God, don't let us be ashamed of what we went through. Don't let us be shameful for that, oh God. No matter what we went through, how many times we failed, oh God, don't let us be ashamed of it because we went through it for a reason, oh God. Help us, oh God, to remember your unfailing love, oh God, in the name of Jesus, your unfailing love because you promised us salvation, oh God. And God, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. Lord, I ask you right now, 
that every word that we know, oh God, don't snatch it away from us because we know that it's the truth, oh God. Help us, oh God, to remember your word. Help us to re to stand on your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because your word is our only hope. Your word is our only hope, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I ask you right now to help us obey. Help us obey your word. Help us obey your instructions in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and help us to walk in freedom. Walk in freedom. Why? Because we have devoted ourselves in your commandments. We have devoted ourselves in your worship. We have devoted ourselves in your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you on this morning that we will walk in freedom no matter what we went through no matter what how many times we failed oh god we will walk in freedom and we will not be ashamed of what happened oh god of what we did oh god in the name of jesus because you are a forgiving god and we thank you in the name of jesus verse 40 um 71 says my suffering was good for me why for it has taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Oh my God. My suffering was good for me. So whatever you went through, it was good for you. It was good for you. Why? Because it made it made you pay attention. It made you pay attention to what God can do. It made you pay attention to trust God. So what we went through, it was for our good. 73 says, you made me. You created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. 74, may all who fear you find in me a good cause of joy, for I have put my hope in your word. So listen, everybody that is looking at you, <laughs> May they find God in you. May they find something. May they find joy. May they find hope when they see you. May they find God in you. Oh my God. Why? Because I have put my hope on your word. Verse 90 says, your faithfulness extends to every generation. As enduring as the earth you created. Your faithfulness extends to every generation. That means every generation will know about his faithfulness. Every generation will know who God is. Listen to me. It is our time to tell the next generation who God is. He is still God. He's still a healer. He's still a miracle working God. He will still make a way. We got to tell people why, because it's our turn to tell the next generation. Hallelujah. Verse um, 91 says, your regulations remain true to this day for everything serves your plans. Verse 103, how sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Verse 105 says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for every suffering. We thank you, oh God, for everything that we had to face in life, oh God. We thank you because it was for our good. For because it taught us to depend on you. It taught us to keep your words in our mouths. It taught us to worship you. It taught us to pray to you. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It taught us to pay attention to your decrees. It taught us to pay attention to who you are to us. Oh God. God, I ask you right now to help us. Help us. Even if we're facing something that we don't understand, oh God, help us that it may teach us to pay attention to you, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that you created us, that you made us, oh God. Help us to have the sense to follow your commands. Help us to have the sense to obey your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, and we thank you right now that everybody that sees us, that everybody that we're connected to, that everybody that watches us, oh God, that they will see you in us, oh God, that they will have some type of joy, that they will have some type of hope because of you, oh God, because you lived, you live in us and they see the God that is in us, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your faithfulness that extends to all generations, oh God. Help us 
to be the people that you need us to be for the next generation to know who you are, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we thank you that your word remains true to this day. We thank you that your word is sweet, oh God. Every time we talk about it, oh God, it gives us hope. Every time we talk about it, it gives us life. Every time we talk about it, we get excited about your word, oh God. We thank you that your word is so sweet to us. It gives us life, oh God, and we thank you. We thank you, oh God, that your word is a lamp unto our feet, oh God. It is a light to our path. It guides us, oh God. We thank you that your word guides us wherever we need to go. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Psalms, um, the verse 107 says, I have suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life again as you promised. Listen to me, no matter what you go through, God is a restored. No matter what, he said it right here. Restore my life again as you promised. He said, I promise you I will restore you. All you got to do is trust me. Trust me. Who do you say I am? Are you? You are my redeemer. I am. You are our redeemer. You are our restorer. Thank you, God. Verse 114 says, you are my refuge, my shield. Your word is my source of hope. That right there. You are my refuge, my shield. Your word is my source of hope. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for all the sufferings. We may not understand why, oh God, but teach us the why. Teach us the why. It's to make us strong. It's to make us pay attention to you, oh God. And God, even in our suffering, restore us. Restore our hope. Restore our joy. Restore our peace. Restore our strength, oh God. Because you said it in your word that you will restore us. It is a promise, oh God. And God, restore us. We will stand on your promise, oh God. For you are our refuge. You are our shield. You shield us from different things, honey. Oh my God. God, I thank you. Sometimes we may get hit but you still protect us. You are our shield. It didn't knock us. It didn't kill us. It didn't kill you. It didn't kill you. It might have knocked you off your square, but it didn't get you off your square. It might have knocked you down. I think of boxing. You know how when somebody gets hit and they they you know they take a knee, but it didn't take them it didn't it, it didn't knock them out. They had to, they got 10 more minutes, 10 more seconds to get up. You got time. Get up. Get up. Get up. God, restore their hope. Restore their hope. Get up. Get up. Know that God is there. Know that God is going to keep his promise. Get up. Somebody say, get up. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you that your word is our source of hope. Your word is our source of hope. Therefore, we can keep on going. We can get up and we can keep on going because our hope is in you. Oh God, we thank you. We love you on this morning. No matter what you're going through, remember, your put your hope in God. Put your hope in God. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Put your hope back in God. Put your hope back in God. Put your faith back in God. Oh my God. It works. I promise you it works. Somebody put on there. It works. It works. Ha! It works. If you do it, it works. Oh my God. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I will remain confident in this high. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Yes, I will remain confident in this i will see the goodness of the lord we set our hope on you we set our hope on your love 
We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. Listen, we set our hope on him. He is the source. That's it. The source is done. Ain't nothing else. You can't go nowhere else. He's the source of our hope. Your hope is restored on this morning. I pray that God has given you something to restore, to encourage you. This is the year of encouragement. I pray to God that you are encouraged to keep on running this race, to endure this race. You got it, y'all. Y'all got it. Just put your hope in God. In the name of Jesus, God, I love you guys. I thank you. I hope and pray that something was encouraging to you that you can keep on going. Restore my hope. And guess what? My hope is restored. After all of this, my hope is restored. I love you guys. I thank you guys for tuning in. You, I love you. I like you. You make me smile. Have a great day. And you know what? Tell somebody that God is good. Give them your testimony. Somebody needs it. Somebody needs your testimony. That's why you went through it. You hear me? Listen, you didn't suffer for nothing. Your suffering was good. Why? So it can help somebody else. Come on! I love you guys. Have a good day.